Well, almost done. Just time for one last parting gift. Now, at number one, it's a pair of star-crossed lovers, if ever there was one, as Rose and the Doctor are torn apart through time and space. Oh, that reminds me. Where's the pepper and his pants? Being sucked into a parallel universe and separated from your lover for all time is, I guess, kind of uh, at least a 10 on the 1 to 10 scale of how to leave your lover. It's not something we'd all want to do, but it's pretty much the ultimate heartbreak. In one of Doctor Who's most dramatic plot lines, Rose has to save the world by pulling the switch that will banish the Daleks to another dimension. There's only one problem. Doctor Who and Rose. I don't think enough time has passed yet for me to talk about that without becoming a wreck. In fact, tragically, I think that's true and I might have to be quiet now. This level of emotion was fairly new for Doctor Who, but it was part of its reinvention by Russell T. Davis. I think this is where Russell was very clever. He allowed there to be some chemistry. And with the new series, I think he's, he's allowed that to sort of, to be bubbling under, so it gives it a new, a new tension. <laughs> I'd sit down and watch it with my little boy, and it's just brilliant. We wait for it, we can't wait, you know, we talk about it later, and yeah, it's, I think it's it brilliantly reinvented. It's, it's a sort of tender, emotional journey for Rose. Um, she gets to know this man, she gets to love this man, she gets to love the life he leads. And then just as they're getting close, just as they're basically becoming almost lovers, he's taken away from her. Where are you? Inside the TARDIS. And it takes a lot of power to send this projection. I'm in orbit around a supernova. I'm burning up a sun just to say goodbye. You can just see their chemistry on screen. So when you see them torn apart, it, it really is heartbreaking because the pair of them are so good together. Am I ever going to see you again? <laughs> you can't do it. I love you. <laughs> it's quite right. <laughs> it's my last chance to say it. Oh, it's sad, isn't it? Well, he's always got his sonic screwdriver to play with, or maybe he could twiddle with the time-space continuum. But failing that, he could do worse than to remember this golden rule. Don't go to sleep angry. Stay up all night and plan your revenge. See ya. <laughs>